because you are too and today I review the Xbox Mega Bloks bootleg Call of Duty Mountain Recon. So this is the box itself right here and as you can see it's recommended for your 6 and up and this is called the Snow Scout. This is a new brand. Uh, this is a Mega Bloks Call of Duty bootleg. So yeah, it's uh, definitely nice to see some Mega Bloks uh, bootleg. But you have the special troops right here. This is their theme and yeah. Uh, does have a very, very nice looking box art. You have the X block down here, and yeah, this is set XJ-989. So yeah, it's a little bit weird that they put it down here, but this is the side. You have the figure itself. You have this special troops logo. This is the other side. This is the top. And finally, this is the back. It does show you the parts list, which is cool. And yeah, uh, you have all these uh, kind of scenarios or scenery, I guess. And yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the box. So inside the box does come with a very small crate. So this is the instruction manual. It's a fold-out paper. So yeah, it's uh, it's quite long. And yeah, this is the other side. Looks nice. And you have the parts list. And yeah, aside from that, that's pretty much it for the instructions. So these are the accessories and also the extra pieces that this set comes with. You have uh, this wheel right here, which is for the crits. And yeah, there's two extra. And you have two of these string tough things. Not sure why they are here. Not sure what they are for. You have these accessories right here, which you have this rifle. You have this uh, knife and you have this, uh, I guess, a torch light or something and you have this binoculars and you have this drinking bottle you have this stun grenade and yeah aside from that that's um, pretty much it for the accessories and also the extra pieces so this is the figure that's included for this set so this figure has a lot of posabilities like a normal uh, mega box figure would there's two joints uh, for the arms you can kind of turn it around and you can also move it from side to side and you can also move this part as well so yeah that's great and for the legs you can move up and down obviously and you can also move the knee so that's cool so let's start with the head so the head you have this green helmet right here with this reflective goggles which does look pretty good and you can turn it around and yeah and at the back he, he's carrying a bag which is stuck on there with this peg so yeah you have to put the peg into this hole and he's wearing this uh, kind of vest tough thing uh, yeah, not sure what it does, but yeah, I guess it's probably there just to look cool. And he does have a tactical utility belt, which, yeah, doesn't do much. But, uh, you have the legs, you know, you have the boots, which they look pretty good. The original figure has a, uh, knife holder at the knee somewhere around here. Um, yeah, not sure why they didn't include that piece, but yeah, this is the back. And, yeah. Aside from that, that's pretty much it for the figure. So this is the snowmobile itself right here. It's very similar to the original build that came in the original Call of Duty set. But it does have some differences like uh, the seat right here. Um, it's shown in the box. Not sure why they have the original build shown in the box when they have a, a different build. Yeah, there's supposed to be a gold bar piece. Um, so... Yeah, I'm not sure why they changed that up. And also, this here is it shows a one by one uh, piece, and yeah, here it shows a one by one towel piece. So not sure what's going on there. It's a little bit weird with the box, but yeah, for the build itself, uh, let's start with the front. So the front of this big piece right here with this messed up molding i think it's fine um it's all right um even zingbao um, messes up uh these pieces quite often so yeah and you have this small windscreen right here and you at the bottom here you have these uh skis which you can turn it around and you can move it up and down so yeah and turn it around so you can change direction so for the seating area there's not much you just have two of these studs and these cheese slow pieces and you have uh this handle right here 
so you can put the figure on here which I'll do later but yeah you have these big specialized uh, pieces and they reduce the piece count for this set and you have these uh, crits right here which they work pretty well um, you can move it around uh, it works better on hard surfaces but it does work on softer surfaces and yeah you have these wheels right here so yeah it does work really well to be honest and yeah it, it's pretty cool and at the back here you have two of these bags uh, which yeah is connected by a pig so yeah there are a total of three bags included in this set and you have the tail light right here and the original set this is supposed to be a one by one translucent red tile piece so not sure why they didn't just include that piece it's a little bit weird and you also have this stud right here with a hole in it and yeah um, you can put this backpack on top of here if you want to and you can put the figure on there so here's the figure riding the snowmobile um, he doesn't attach uh, to any studs he just holds on to the handle piece and the legs you have this part here that's kind of blocking it from you know pushing down so yeah um, aside from that um, there's not much else to this uh, snowmobile so overall conclusion of this set here so how do I think of it? Well, for the figure itself, I think the figure, he looks pretty cool, but it's just that the pieces, they don't attach that well. They fall off uh, a little bit too easily, so maybe they could improve on that. But yeah, I think the figure is fine. The posability is there, and the detailing is also there. And for the build itself, I think the build here, it looks really cool. It's a very good quality for a Mega Bloks uh, bootleg brand. I think the crates here they work really well and yeah they work on both hard and soft surfaces so yeah that's great and they do have some parts in this uh, build here swapped out which is a little bit annoying but I think it's it's alright as long as it doesn't change the look that much and all of the molding they are all here and yeah I mean the build itself I don't have uh, much problem with it so if you want this set I definitely recommend you getting it um, or if you don't have any Mega Bloks Call of Duty sets in your country or they are just way too expensive then yeah this is definitely a very nice uh, choice so buttons for the set here down in the description box below if I can find it along with all my social media pages down in the description so if you like my channel make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon.